we're gonna build up a complete bike. Um, the secret about building bikes is that it's not really all that hard if you have the right tools. Uh, we're here at American Cyclery in San Francisco and obviously we have all the right tools here behind us, so this should be pretty easy. And something making it even easier is that we're building this up with Shimano DI2, which is electronic shifting. And it sounds more complex technologically, it probably is, but it, it's actually even easier to build up a bike with DI2. So we're gonna walk through all the steps on that and show you how to build up a bike. So the first step will be putting the fork and headset together on the bike so that we have something to start mounting everything onto. So we'll insert the fork into the head tube and um, insert the bearings and clamp everything down so that the fork is in place. The next step will be inserting the bottom bracket bearings and the crank set. And this frame actually has press fit uh, bearings, which makes things even easier. We don't actually have to insert the bearings. As you can see, they're in here already. We can just insert the cranks and go. All right, let's mount the handlebars and the shifters now. going to mount the front and rear derailleurs, which is a very simple step. We just bolt these into place. Uh, the holes are already here. Now we're going to mount the battery and run the wires from the shifters down to the derailleurs. This will take a little bit of time. It's not complex. We just have to route everything correctly. We'll run the wires from the shifters down to the derailleurs. Something that electronic shifting allows you to do is put shift buttons kind of wherever you want. There's really, you're only limited by the length of your cable. So these are remote shifters for the rear derailleur and they mount on top of the bar here. If you've ever been climbing a long hill and you want to shift, it's kind of hard to reach down into the drops when you want to be riding up here on the top of the bars. So this allows you to shift with your hands up where you have them when you're climbing. You're, you're climbing, you're right here, you just reach down here and push these buttons and you're shifting up and down. Next we're going to mount the chain and cassette. We'll have to cut the chain to length, which we have special tools for, and then put the cassette on the rear wheel. We put the wheels on and tune everything up and we've got a bike. So what we're doing now is setting the high and low limits on the derailleur, which is something you have on any derailleur. And these are just two screws that very mechan mechanically keep the derailleur from going too far in or too far out. And it's just a matter of turning these screws in to stop the whole derailleur housing from moving. So instead of having to do cable tension, which is how you generally tune a rear derailleur, we're just holding this button down and the computer will do it for us. So we're finished, we built up a complete bike from bare frame to rideable bike. Uh, pretty simple, we ran into a few hiccups as always happens with the bike, but as I said, as long as you have the right tools, you can fix anything. Um, and now it's time to go out and ride it.